Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I am extremely, extremely, extremely happy to be reviewing the brand new Britney Spears fragrance, Britney Spears Intimate Fantasy. So this fragrance is brand new to the Britney Spears line, and I need to fix my light, and launched this year, 2015, and is her 18th fragrance. Before we get too far into this, pardon my appearance currently. Um, as some of you guys saw earlier today, I posted a video of my very first ever drag performance. With that, having mainly bushy eyebrows, I just decided to shave my eyebrows the hell off. So, I'm currently eyebrowless, and, you know, it is what it is. But, anyway, we're not here about my eyebrows, we're here about Britney Spears. So, anywho, as you can see, I kind of changed my setting up a little bit. I decided to sit, move my bench around. And this is actually where the camera normally sits, but I figured since we're doing Britney and it's a brand new fragrance, why not sit behind all of its predecessors or precursors or whatever the hell that word is. But anyway, so here is her 18th fragrance, Intimate Fantasy. And I need to grab a tester card because I forgot to grab one of those. So the box this time I love it because instead of like all the other boxes previously where they're kind of shiny and like most perfume boxes they are that kind of like high gloss color I, yeah, like most of them are high gloss this one actually is matte like i don't know if you guys can really tell this or not but it's matte but then the words fantasy britney spears intimate edition are in gold and then this pink lace artwork goes all the way around the box and it's kind of representing her um the intimate britney spears collection which is her like lingerie collection continues on to the top and then you've got all of like the barcode and whatnot on the bottom and then on the back, you've got the ad for Miss Britney Spears. And on the back, it just says Fantasy Britney Spears Intimate Edition. And you've got a picture of the little white bottle there. And speaking of which, here's the little white bottle. So, I'm actually super pleased with this bottle. Mainly because of the fact of one of my friends and I literally, like, two weeks before this got announced, had talked about how they really need to do a white fantasy bottle because it's like the only color that I mean they there's a lots of colors they haven't done yet but it's just like the only like common perfume color that hasn't been done in a Britney Spears fantasy bottle yet and I'm so glad that they finally did because I'm absolutely in love with this bottle as I almost drop it so this time you've got this like white pearl looking thing on top which obviously is like the normal cap that we always have and then you've got this very bright, vibrant rose gold neck with the white bottle with the pink gems going here all around the bottle. And it almost reminds me of, like, just looking at, like, the bottom half, like, have you guys ever seen a white strawberry? Like, that's kind of where I'm getting from this. Like, and my light is, like, killing this bottle. But, yeah, like, there we go. This looks like a white strawberry, in my opinion. So, this one, um, first out of the back, box, I will say that, not trying to be negative here, but I feel like they missed the mark on this one with the name, because as much as I love the idea of it being Intimate Edition, not doubting the Intimate part at all, because Intimate is the perfect word for this fragrance, like, when I get into it, it'll be obviously more noticeable why it is. Is that better? I don't know. This light and me are not getting along today. But anyway, so, but I feel like it should have just been Intimate Fantasy, not Fantasy Intimate Edition. I just feel like Intimate Edition kind of kills it, but I can kind of see with the fragrance where they got the word Intimate from. So, this one is notes are um, completely different. I will say that right off the bat. They are completely different from any other Predecursor fantasies that are out there. The only note that this, I believe, off the top of my head, that has in common with the original is Lychee and Jasmine. That is seriously just off the top of my head. Can't remember all of them. But, so this one has top notes of Lychee, Violet Leaves, and Lemon Oil. Middle notes are Ozone, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, with base notes of Brown Sugar, Vanilla, Benzoid Resin, Heliotrope, and Musk. So... I'm absolutely in love with this fragrance. 
And I feel like every single time I do a Britney Spears review, I say that I love this fragrance and it was my favorite to date and blah, 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 blah. But I'm not totally serious about it this time. Like, this is really nice. Like, I really, really like this one. So, straight off the bat, when you first spray it, I can get that lychee. I get the violet leaves because I can see where the violet leaves are coming out of. Like, I can see those. And I, I get that lemon oil, but it's not like a really citrusy opening. It's a very soft opening. This whole entire fragrance is very soft. It fits the name Intimate very, very well because it is very intimate. It's very close. It's very soft. It's very sensual. It's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. As you get into the heart, the main note, I, I really smell that Lily of the Valley and the Jasmine both. I don't really, in my opinion, smell one more than the other. They're both kind of there. Um, the ozone, though, adds this kind of... I've said this to a couple people as I've talked about this fragrance today. This fragrance has, like, an airbrush quality to it. And I can't really think of it any other way to say than it has an airbrush quality, because it really honestly does. And there's, like, this black light, like, right here that I cannot get out, and I just think it's because I'm in a dark corner. Anyway, I'm sorry for all that. But... If you've ever seen airbrush makeup and how that stuff is done, it's very soft, it's very pristine, it's very clean, it's very, like, perfected. Like, I, it's just really hard to think. Like, my sister smelled this this morning and she agreed with me that it has, like, this airbrush. Like, when I said airbrush, she said yes, instantly. Because this is a very sexy fragrance, but it's very sexually intimate and not just, like, sexually, like, I can't really think of a better way to say it than, this isn't, like, this is a sexy fragrance, but it's not, like, heels to the floor popping, like, look at me now, like, this is very, like, this is me, what, we're sensual, we're sexual, we're together, we're sexy, that type of thing, it's very soft, very soft-spoken, but I will say, with it being an EDP, it does not last like an eau de toilette with it being soft if that makes sense it does last quite a long time once you get into the base though brown sugar is very very prominent the heliotrope resin or the benzoid resin i mean gives this kind of like warmth to the fragrance i guess like that's the easiest way i'm looking for it gives us warmth to the fragrance same with the benzoid they kind of both add this warmth but the musk is super powerful too like i think the easiest way to describe this base is a brown sugar musk. Um, I described to one of my friends earlier today that this fragrance is a bouquet of flowers. And it's just like just the flower petals. And then you got some violet leaves kind of sprinkled in there to add some green. And then it, it's been sugar coated with brown sugar and then airbrushed. Like that is the easiest way to describe it because it does kind of quickly transform from the top to the base, but it's because this fragrance is just very well rounded and very soft and very airbrushed. And I'm going to keep saying that word airbrushed because nobody understands what I mean by it until you smell the fragrance. Once you smell this fragrance, you will completely understand what I mean by this being an airbrushed perfume. Um, I had some hopes for this fragrance, I will say. Um... I was really hoping there would be a peony in here. That's the one thing I think is missing from this fragrance. Really throw it over the top. Um, I won't say it's exactly like Snooky Love. Let me grab Snooky Love just uh... It's not... No. It's not like Snooky Love. I will say that. It's not like it. Snooky Love is a little more like... Snooky Love has this perfume quality to it, if that makes sense, that this doesn't. This does not really have that harsh alcohol perfuminess to it. Um, if you remember how, like, Stage Edition, Anniversary Edition, Original Fantasy, and Rocker Femme all kind of had that little bit of, like, a sharp edge to the fragrance, if that makes sense, if you know what I'm talking about. This fragrance is completely missing that. And it's also missing that high potency of alcohol that a perfume gives. This is, in my opinion... I really, really, really like Circus Fantasy, so it's hard for me to say this, but this is probably my favorite fantasy. 
because it is so well done and I haven't seen a fragrance where it doesn't smell like it, it has this amazing sensual soft quality to it that doesn't really give it a perfume if that makes sense like it doesn't it's almost like a soft powder if that makes sense like it doesn't even it's not even like a perfume it's like you just kind of dusted yourself with this perfume so but the one thing I will say I dislike about this fragrance and it has nothing to do with how it lasts on you because it never does this on me and something tells me it might be what's like how they like the perfume like settles on the sprayer but after you've sprayed it and you go to smell the bottle, if you don't spray the bottle and you just smell it directly, it's kind of got this boozy alcohol, almost like a beer scent to the bottle, but that smells nothing like the actual fragrance, which is really weird. Like, it's really, really, really weird. I've never experienced this um, with another perfume. I've experienced perfumes where they don't smell like they do when you spray them, but never that have, like, a weird alcohol booze kind of scent to them. Um, on the sprayer that's not even pleasant like if I were to go to a store and smell this like without spraying it I probably wouldn't buy it because it doesn't have that um, it's just weird like it's a weird scent but I will say when you spray it it's amazing I love 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 this fragrance I'm probably going to go through this entire bottle like no tomorrow I can very well see me doing that like I have been I got this earlier today, um, and I've been out kind of all day in really hot, kind of humid, gross weather. Plus, it's been kind of raining. Like, when I first sprayed this fragrance, the first couple hours, it was really hot and humid and gross and, like, sticky. And then it started to rain, and it's raining right now. And I will say that this fragrance works so well with both of those. So I will say this is the perfect kind of, like, signature daytime summer perfume because you never know what the weather is going to be like you never know what's going to change to but this fragrance kind of takes on a new life in every in every weather from what i've experienced today and with the big weather changing and like whatever this fragrance lasted all day like it lasted a good like eight hours or so like i mean i still smell like i didn't really need to reapply it i just felt the need to reapply it so it lasts all day, and I kept noticing to myself, like, different times throughout the day, just kind of catching a whiff of it and be like, oh, I really like this. I will say it has a little bit of a simi similar scent to the original, but this is a whole new scent. It is not the original. I don't want to put that out there because I don't want people saying, oh, it's just the original on a new bottle. Because it's not. It smells nothing, like, straight on to the original. It just has a little bit of a... Uh, like a, almost like a, hey mom, like this is its daughter, and she got a tattoo that is reminiscent of her mom, if that makes sense. Like, I'm just weird with illusions, and, or not illusions, but words I can't think of. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Britney Spears' Intimate Fantasy. As always, guys, I'm trying to get the newer releases as fast as possible. This was on Cole's website. It still is on Cole's website. And when it launched, I immediately had to get it. I was told that it was on there and immediately had to get it. So, um, I am currently working on trying to get... I bought a rollerball of it, um, of the I Am Juicy Couture. I'm trying to get a... Uh, I'm going to try to get a full bottle of it because I really like that one as well. So, you know, there's that. So, if you guys have any requests for future videos, please don't hesitate to ask and comment them down below. And I will, uh do my best to get them out there. And as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching me. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. And have a great day, guys. Bye.